them over father. So they tell you you can't even come around unless you bring a check. Everything from well design to welding. So we have quite a few different programs and we have information out front. I have a business card. Like Ms. Frazier was saying, if you would like to take a tour of the school, if you would like to talk to a guidance counselor or speak with any of our instructors, we have to set that up. So. Come out and see us. Yes. We'll be with you too. Yes. <laughs> I grew up, I'm fine. I made it. I ain't had no daddy. <laughs> well, just understand this. You could have had more. I want to say it was two girls that left a big imprint on my heart. They did not take what their circumstances was to determine who they were going to be. I had a young lady, she started, she was in high school, she went to Gibbs. She started getting her, she worked, she worked for like, I don't know how long she worked. I think she started her job in 10th grade. She was there from the 9th grade. Um, she worked, she went to college, she left, she aged out of that program. At 18, she went to uh, USF. She graduated, she went back to school, she went to be in criminal justice, she did that. She's now the, I should say, pillar of her family because her mom, her older sister, her younger sister has now relied on her for support. She was that strength. She did not utilize, yes, I was in this group home for seven years of my life because my mom was not able to provide for me, but I'm still gonna utilize what I've learned and take that and move on forward. So she called me one day, she said, Miss Diamond, I'm so thankful for the hard work you made me do and you pushed me even though you made me mad sometimes. I was mad at you, but I was so thankful that you stood, you stood with me because I knew that I had to do something better. And she said, so I'm thankful for that. To this day, we keep in contact. So proud of this young lady. Um, but some of the things that she didn't, she didn't take those things to kind of you know, bring herself down. She knew her self-worth. She knew that she valued something in her that she needs to make sure she made an impact on this community too. One of the things she wants to do, which I didn't get a chance to reach out to her because of my family issues, but she wanted to do something like this. She asked me, if you ever do something like, you know, talking to young girls, I want to do that. Can you just make sure I'm a part of it? So when I reached out to her a few months ago, originally we had a date, she told me to let her know um, if she was in town. She was my daughter's father. We have a, a home that has good stability and good building blocks for our children so that our children can be better than us and they can go on and inspire the world and make changes as we are trying to make. So I just think the Teen Pregnancy Summit is really important because there's just so many, so many things missing in these children's lives and we really need to help them and assist them so that they can be the best that they can be and in turn, the children can be the best that they can be. And going back to the um, topic of self-esteem, if you do not have self-esteem, you just don't have what it takes to be able to build yourself and be the best that you can be. It takes being able to look in the mirror and say that I love me, I am beautiful, I am great, I can do this, I can make a difference to be able to be a positive member in society, be a positive citizen and be able to can partner with Lightness as well, and we can be that best together.